Hey YouTube, found this awesome game thanks to a video on YouTube called Defense Grid The Awakening. Uh, actually I saw a Kickstarter for Defense Grid 2, but I didn't really know much about it so I didn't support it or anything. But there's this awesome game on Steam, tower defense game. Got really cool 3D graphics, and uh, it's a little slow, but it's it's really good. Uh, so check it out, and of course, be sure to check out our game coming out soon called Cursed Mech. It'll be a tower defense slash top-down action game, maybe the first of its kind. I don't know. Uh, and this will also be available on the iPhone the Android uh, eventually, and the web browser. So iPhone and web browser first, and then eventually we will port to the Android, uh, assuming that the game is as popular as I hope it should be. All right, so check out this video, and then make sure you check out cursedmech.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's Vittensby, and I just wanted to do a quick let's play of Defense Grid The Awakening, which in my opinion is one of the best tower defense games to come out in the last few years. This is the type of game that's a great laptop game, and it's great if you don't have the very best computer. Uh, it's a couple years old, but the graphics in it are phenomenal, and its performance on any PC that I've tried it out on is great. And I love to take it on vacation with me. Uh, it's a nice uh, time waster. It's a nice type of game that you can just play if you you know have a little bit of time to kill. So. I wanted to say that there's an excellent amount of narration in this game. The voice acting is top notch, so I'm going to be trying to not talk over that. And I'll be giving you guys a quick rundown of the weapons that you can place, the towers that you can place while this thing gets started. So here we go. And you might find uh, that some of these voices are actually familiar. This is one of my personal favorite missions, and there's a lot of ways to beat this uh, to beat this particular mission. And there's, uh, I think, they're up to about 25 missions now with a couple DLC packs. So, here we go. Fantastic! I have been able to find an uncorrupted version of this training simulation. The odds of it remaining intact after all these years is almost nil. Yet here it is. Unbelievable. Perhaps something has been repairing the ancient code for this level in the background. If so, I am nothing short of astounded with its promise. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Center for Human Annihilation Studies. This training program will evaluate your ability to defend the species from alien invasion. Excellent. I hope she is right, and this helps us out. Hmm. It is a her, isn't it? Or is that just wishful thinking on my part? We look forward to observing your progress. If you are unable to make any progress, we look forward to observing that as well. We are pleased that you are looking forward to this, though to be fair, saving the human race does carry a bit more import for us, as I'm sure you understand. Let's begin. Now one of the cool things that you're going to see me do here is that you can place a basic tower. Um, this is the simplest of towers called the gun. And you can upgrade it up to three different levels. I also place the laser oh, over here. And you're going to see that these enemies do come in waves. And they start out coming from over here. And the graphics are pretty good. I, re I really like this game. Uh, this level is a little drab compared to others. Um, <laughs> it kind of has the portal theme, but you'll see what I mean. And I'm going to place a cannon over here with my last of my resources. Now, as you kill enemies, you're going to see that my resources go up. And what these enemies are trying to do is, is they're trying to basically get these cores. And these cores, um, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, if they take all your cores, you basically lose. That wave's not particularly difficult. And um, we're going to move on to the next one. As you can see, there's 26 waves that I need to survive. And uh, you can kind of tell what's incoming based off of on top. So you can see that these are more like these are going to be stronger enemies. And um, the enemies that will come in the next wave are going to be a lot of smaller enemies and then a super strong enemy. And it does have three camera, camera angles. This is the first one, second one, and third one. Now with my resources right here, I'm going to probably place a temporal, temporal, I always pronounce that wrong, and that's going to slow down any of these enemies for, with the next wave. One of the nice things, uh, nice features about this game is that they added something uh, called a speed up. 
So you can see there, I can just speed this up right here or slow it down at my will. And uh, the shield guys are a little bit harder to pop, but once their shields go down, you should be in a pretty good position. And you're going to notice that this uh, right here is going to go ahead and slow these guys down. And that's just one of my favorite features about this game. I also like something called the Meteor Cannon, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. We are pleased to see that you have already picked up the basics of repelling an alien invasion. You can also sell uh, can, uh, sell things, by the way, for more resources. And these guys right here are stealth ships. Go ahead and speed this up occasionally, just because I definitely do want more resources. I'm gonna upgrade that cannon. Probably be a few guys that might get through here. Not entirely sure. Um, the reason why, eventually I'll put stuff over here and eventually I have to put things down here and over here, but for now, the general approach that I like to take to this game is see what's coming and see where you need help. And uh, don't overcommit in any particular area and choose your battle wisely. So choose where you want to actually fight. I'm kind of losing over here, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cannon because it looks like I need a little bit more a little bit more oomph, so to speak. This laser could probably use an upgrade. And I'm hoping that this guy doesn't get through. Yeah, well, he might get through. So the next thing I'm going to do is place a cannon right over here. Cannons are, I don't know, they seem a little OP to me, frankly, in this game. But, you know, I don't know, it's a tower defense game. So there's, <laughs> there's no real balance, I guess. But it is a pretty good, pretty good balanced game. And this guy should take care of it, of this guy coming through, I'm hoping. Congratulations. Having said that, our data shows hmm. no correlation between Maybe not. Alright, so I'm going to drop a cannon over here. I'm uh, going to drop a couple guns here, like so. And that should give me a pretty decent first-hand defense. Now, this game offers you kind of a choice. This guy. Previous test subjects have found the best uh -oh. strategy is to keep the fusion power cores. How did you get through here? Power core housing, but we're sure you know best. Hmm, that's not good. Well, I think one of my cores is going to actually get taken because of the stealther. Uh, this is one of the. That's all right though. Um, this is one of the like uh, stronger boss units. They just take a pounding and keep on going. Previous test subjects have found the best strategy is to keep the fusion power cores in the fusion power core housing, but we're sure you know best. That's a little jab at me losing the uh, fusion core <laughs> uh, to that one enemy, but it's alright, it happens. So the next thing I'm going to do is start upgrading these towers since it's pretty obvious that my Each first enemy has layer of... strengths and weaknesses. This wave's weakness, for example is a deplorable lack of empathy for the suffering of others. Since uh, this defense is kind of faltering, I do need a little bit stronger uh, defense down here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that, and when I get enough resources, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that as well. You can see that not much is really getting through. This uh, temporal thing really works well to slow these guys down. And we're already on wave 9. This thing right here is really, really strong and it goes really fast. So without like a, one of those, you're going to be in trouble. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to its level 3. I'm going to upgrade that to a higher level as well. Was structurally fine. Now it has a sunroom and a den though. So that's nice. And with the level 3 upgrades, that's when things really start getting strong. Probably going to need to upgrade that as well, just a stronger punch against this guy right here. And it's all strategy, and, and it's not the type of strategy where you have to have like 300 actions per minute, say in like a game like StarCraft. It's pure like chess type strategy. Let's mop these up. Okay, this is going to be a problem. That's a lot of guys. 
and it might look like uh, the frame rate's lagging, but I am speeding this up slightly. So when I get to 300, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap one of uh, these temporals down here and hope that that slows this down just a little bit. Yep. And you can... The number of remaining fusion power cores. Please also note how small that number is. You can also... To the next phase of the simulation. We are pleased that testing may continue. And you can also notice that when uh, something dies, if an enemy is close to it, they will go ahead and pick it up. And you've got to be careful with that. Again, I'm going to be speeding this up a little bit. Try to get through these waves. And going to go ahead and upgrade and uh, put another meteor here. Going to upgrade this to be slightly stronger. And I'm going to hope that... Previous test subjects have found the best strategy is to keep the fusion power cores in the fusion power core housing. But we're sure you know best. Going to upgrade this meteor tower right here. The meteor towers level 3 do an incredible amount of splash damage. These, Congratulations. Uh, no previous test subject has retrieved a stolen fusion power core. Because they did not lose them in the first place. Gonna drop another temporal over there. Temporal. Ah, uh, please don't get through. No. No. Oi, that was bad. Yeah, my defense here is pretty weak. I need to upgrade it. Go ahead and upgrade that. Make a note of the number of remaining fusion power cores, then draw an arrow to the note and write that is a small number next to the arrow. Then put an exclamation point after that. Actually, maybe you should use three exclamation points. This upcoming wave will really test your strategy, if we're going to call it that. So here we go. Now with this command center over here, I should have a pretty decent uh, income rate. It's going to increase my resources quite significantly. And I'm going to drop a whole bunch of meteor towers here. And this should easily help me out. Really want to get this uh, cannon upgraded to rank 3 because this guy is going to be... Upgrading your tower at this time is a bold move. There Perhaps you are trying to convince the alien hordes of humanity's worth by demonstrating your free will to choose poorly. Let's watch and see how that works out. Her job is to train you, not to praise you. I, for one, am impressed. Bravo! So you can probably see now, once I upgraded this, that it, you know, it gets significantly larger range. And I'm uh, going to upgrade that fully. And I might as well get that to the last final rank and get that to the final rank as well, because that's where I seem to be having trouble. We are pleased to announce that you have survived far longer than anticipated. Well, more shocked than pleased. A lot of this is about, you know, picking your favorite weapons and upgrading them. Take those things out. Gonna get that to level two. Please note that while you have achieved some success, you are not yet certified to add any value to the defense of the species. Wow, that costs a thousand, that's a lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this then, because that's a significant attack power increase. Oh, the sky is falling. And go ahead and upgrade that. 
And as you can see, there really is a lot of other things like the uh, Tesla, for example, is really good against bosses or the missiles. There's certain uh, stages that you absolutely have to get anti-air. Uh, the concussion, um, I haven't really used that one too much. I typically prefer the meteor. We recommend that you use this feeling as an incentive to improve. Score? Who cares about a score? Our mission is larger than any score. Yet I do admit I would like to see us beat any work out for us. Let's get there, shall we? The waves are definitely getting significantly harder, and the choice that you need to make, and it really depends on the level. Generally overwhelms those who adopt your strategy, specifically your lack of one. The choice that needs to be made is, you know, for example, you can see that there's areas here, there's areas here that I could have placed towers, there's areas over here, and the question really is, is, is that where you want your towers to be, or would you prefer to them to be somewhere else? So, for example, I'm going to just drop a whole bunch of meteors over here, and that'll help out with anything that could potentially get through. Nothing like a kinetic strike to clear the path. Wow, that's a lot of resources. Gonna upgrade that and upgrade that to rank three. And you can see that these meteor towers just shred everything to pieces. Just shred it. Does so much damage. I have lost a bit of cores, and as you can see, like half of uh, half of this game clearly is perfecting a strategy, trying out different things, seeing what works better for a higher score. And uh, you do get more points for how many resources you have available at the end of the game. Upgrade a couple of these. And here comes a pretty big wave of guys. Where is it going to come from? Ah, here we go. And we'll go ahead and upgrade that, even though that's probably useless at this point. Wow, that is a lot of enemies. And I believe that this is on the least challenging of the difficulties that they have, so there's other difficulties in this game that are significantly harder. Um, I'm, I haven't played it in a while, but to my recollection, the enemies are harder to kill. Um, I think is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about the only thing that happens with it. Looks like I'm gonna probably want another meteor tower here. No test subject has upgrade ever chosen that. this moment in the battle to upgrade a tower. In fact, most training programs use that scenario as a cautionary tale. That should be just fine now. Based on your performance so far, we have calculated your chance of success to a near certitude. We won't spoil it for you, but here's a hint. You are going to die. And that, I believe that's the end of the level. Once this guy over here goes down. Or these guys right here, these three. So let's watch the final engagement. By the way, if this is something you'd like to see more of, I'd like to know, so please let me know in the comments. I really enjoy this game. And there's a lot more uh, different levels um, that have different designs on them. A lot of different uh, environments, so to speak. And if there this we go. had been an actual alien invasion, you would have protected as many as some of your population. Congratulate the Human Annihilation Studies Group. Thanks you for your participation. Based on your success and or failure, you may or may not be contacted for further study on how to slash how not to prevent an alien invasion. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play of Defense Grid The Awakening. Just wanted to show you guys real quick what you could expect from uh, the game. 
you do choose to purchase it or if you are interested, there are, I don't want to do too many spoilers, but there are a significant amount of levels here and they are very interesting. I wanted to pick one that was more of a, how would you say, a more complete level where you had access to everything just to give you guys a taste. But uh, that's something that you can take a peek at um, for yourself if you, if you decide to to buy it or if you'd like to join me for another Let's Play. So this is Vittensby, and uh, leave, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd like to do a few different things with the channel. This is going to be one of them, I hope. So uh, let me know. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, and talk to you guys later.